Hello, everybody. My name is Julie Marie Siebert. I use she and they pronouns. I'm a mixed race uh, female presenting person wearing a gold sweater and a teal shirt with teal earrings. I am standing in New Jersey City University's Letterman Galleries um, up in my thesis exhibition, Painted Stitches. Um, I'd like to welcome you to explore um, this dialogue along with me. Um, and please feel free to include any questions in the chat. I'll give a brief explanation and then I'm happy to answer any questions along the way as well. Uh, my work is primarily uh, using embroidery as a mark making tool. I originally trained as a painter and uh, drawing artist, um, but I also work in museums as a museum educator. And throughout the course of my career, over time I began realizing there was a huge discrepancy on the type of representation we had in our historical paintings and portraiture especially. We have a number of uh, pieces that are uplifting our founding fathers and realize that there is this um, uh, lack of uh, me <laughs> uh, on the walls. And I really needed to find a way to uh, find a connection with this work that I was doing on a daily basis. And the more I spoke with colleagues, with artists, with other mixed race individuals, I saw that I wasn't alone and needed to create this uh, space uh, of uh, conversation with my, uh, my peers. In this work, uh, you'll notice that um, I use um, individuals who are um, fondly known as the squad. Uh, they are uh, a number of women of color who are part of the 116th uh, Congress. So in these pieces, I'm uh, highlighting these women who are creating change in our history. Uh, women who are bringing up new opportunities, new conversations to the table, and are uh, honestly and truly working together to create that space. And this is something that I find uh, part of the dialogue amongst women of color, people of color, on a regular basis, creating community, creating representation, finding opportunities to, um, to not just uh, continue status quo. So through uh, my mark making, I started exploring how to use thread. This is a cotton embroidery thread on a circular canvas. I purposely chose not to have a background for these individuals so that uh, it really invites the viewer to look at the individual and start to, to ask questions about who they are, what they've done, what they represent in the same ways that we do with our founding fathers in institutions. Um, however, it, when you look at portraiture of the founding fathers, there's often lots of symbolism in the background to give you an idea of who they are. But in that process, um, it's, it is giving you the artist's view of who they are. And I truly want the viewer to have the opportunity to, to think about these individuals and uplift these individuals um, in a way that really speaks and communicates to them. Uh, so I decided to uh, focus primarily on um, the, the women themselves. Within that uh, process, I began discovering that the extensive uh, uh, work that I've done over the years to learn about anatomy, uh, life drawing, all of the things I was learning, again, was really uplifting uh, European male standards. And so I had to retrain my hand, retrain my eye in how to look at these women, look at these individuals and really be able to represent them in a way that works for them. And the more I did that, the more I began to be able to see myself and see the opportunity uh, for other mixed race and uh, women of color to um, be viewed on these walls. As I was doing that, I found lots of artists um, asking me about the process of this, of this work. And so here I um, uh, show a verso, the, the back of one of the pieces, because I feel um, while these are two-dimensional art, uh, the thread gives it this three-dimensional quality in a very similar way that oil paint, especially impressionist painting would have. And it also gives a sculptural quality. So it has the opportunity to, 
to look at both sides, which I think evokes a lot of who we are as individuals. We present ourselves one way to the public, but there's all these underlying layers of who we are. And as a mixed race uh, child, as a artist, a mother, a museum educator, I had so many identities that I was always grappling with that I realized I was finding myself in this constant moment of imposter syndrome, this constant moment of do I belong? Where do I belong? Am I who what everyone says I am? Uh, and I wanted to be able to uh, bring viewers to that same, same type of light um, in this work too. And so uh, again, in that process, people continue to ask questions and how I build and develop. So I'm gonna bring you to the other side of the gallery to show a little bit of that process. Again, I come from a painting and drawing background, but I also come from a family of printmakers. My uh, father was a printmaker and he inspired a lot of the work that I do. Here is um, just a few prints of the drawings that I uh, used as a way of developing my final pieces. And in that process, I started realizing how much my childhood really led to this and how much I felt it was important to, to create a space for uh, young children of color, especially female presenting children, to um, see uh, this new style of princess, this new style of queen. Uh, this, this new uh, heroine. And so they are um, redesigned as coloring books. And so on my website, I have um, included a number of printable PDFs that you are welcome to print, color, share, um, and be able to create that collaboration along with me. It's a, a style that I do often. Um, I have a number of collaborated pieces here. And so I hope that you have the opportunity to come explore the gallery, especially um, get up and close and personal with these pieces. Uh, embroidered work really speaks uh, when you're in person and have the opportunity to see them there. But I'd love to open the floor for questions. Um, if someone has any that they can read out for me, that'd be great. Of course, Julie, so far it's a ton of comments. Wow, amazing work. This work is great, absolutely beautiful. Um, we did have a question about whether you host workshops or do any kind of teaching. Yes, I, again, am a museum educator. I work for the Metropolitan Museum of Art. I'm the assistant educator for family programs, um, but I also uh, teach in a number of other ways. So you can feel free to contact me through my website, juliemariesiebert.com, and we're, I'm happy to talk with you. Awesome. And Julie, how long is this exhibit up at NJCU? Um, it is currently up for a few weeks, but there is an opportunity to extend, so please keep an eye out on the website for the most updated information. Amazing. And one last question. How long do you work on each of these pieces? That's a fantastic question. So um, in the beginning, the pieces were taking me two to three months each because um, while I'm classically trained in painting and drawing, I'm completely self-taught in uh, embroidery. Um, however, as time went on, uh, I'll uh, have you go to this side. Um, as time went on, the uh, newer pieces uh, take approximately a month. Um, however, you may have noticed that I have the vice president elect um, as my final piece that I added to the show today. And I began that the night they announced that um, they won. And so that is the fastest piece that I completed, which is just about three weeks long. Awesome. Julie, thank you so much for sharing.